technical progress in the four RoboCup soccer leagues, small size, middle size, standard platform, and humanoid. In the small size league, one of the challenges is building the robot hardware within strict size constraints and detecting and tracking the robots with an overhead camera in real time based on the colored markings on the robots. The global view of the complete field is passed to an off-board computer which aims at generating sophisticated teamwork strategies in the form of efficient positioning and passing. Remote control commands are then sent wirelessly to the robots with no human involvement. Complex action sequences emerge in real time in response to the behaviors of the different opponents, such as this four-way pass. Today, robots in the small size league move very quickly and deal with high ball velocities. They precisely manipulate the ball in three dimensions, on fields and in teams of increasing size. In the middle size league, robots of larger size are constructed by the teams with onboard computation, actuation, and sensing. In this league, the robots manipulate a regulation size soccer ball on a larger field. Like in all the leagues, the robots are fully autonomous. As the league evolved, walls on the field were removed, colored markings around the field were removed, and omnidirectional cameras were banned. Distributed state assessment was accomplished via inter-robot communication, and localization relies on accurate motion models. The teams devise efficient, robust, multi-robot path planning algorithms with vision-based obstacle avoidance. The level of play has increased to the point that since 2007, the league champion has played an annual demonstration game against human players. Sony's support of RoboCup by making the four-legged robots available to researchers offered the opportunity for teams to focus on locomotion, vision, localization, and teamwork algorithms using a standard hardware platform. One technical challenge in this league is defining fine motor skills that precisely manipulate an object given uncertain sensor information with articulated bodies. Frame-based motion sequences enable precise and effective control. Teams develop localization algorithms capable of addressing the challenges of sensitive cameras with limited fields of view, ambiguous landmarks, occasional repositioning of the robots, and the need to actively decide whether to focus on the ball or the landmarks. As IBOs became unavailable, the league transitioned to the now robots from Aldebaran. Biped locomotion and upright kicking became a primary technical focus, still on a standard robot platform. RoboCup has had a long-standing commitment to fostering the development of humanoid robots. At first, Simply standing and kicking was an ambitious challenge. Today, teams of small-sized humanoids play in fast-paced games, and researchers continue to advance the state-of-the-art in teen and adult-sized robots, where mechanical and power challenges abound. Overall, in RoboCup, thousands of researchers from more than 40 countries are engaged in developing teams of autonomous robots towards RoboCup's specific long-term challenge of beating the human World Cup champions by the year 2050.